Welcome to our classic car and this collection of classic Lotus car photographs. And we begin with a very brightly coloured Lotus Ilan Sprint from about 1971. Uh, one of the things that did strike me with this particular collection is just how bright some of these cars are. L4 OTU, that's a 1996 Lotus Esprit. This is mainly road cars and sports cars. There aren't any Formula One cars in this particular video. Next up, a very smart two-tone Lotus Elite. And an Elan and an Elise alongside that. This is one of several photos of a big Lotus gathering that was at the Chumley Pageant of Power several years ago. But this is the Haynes Motor Museum and a Lotus Turbo Esprit. Back to the pageant of power, and we've got Daddio, or Dad 10, a Lotus Elite, very famous car, ex Les Leston. This one dates to 1960. Going back in time, 772 RKX, that's a 1959 Lotus 7. Again, I think that was at the pageant of power. Alton Park now, Nub 303 is a Lotus Elite from 1961, fending off an Austin Healy. Again at Chumley, this is the first of several Lotus Cortina Mark 1s to feature in this collection of Lotus car photos. 2660RA is from May 1964. Now to the NEC, this was the 2021 NEC Classic Car Show. We've got a North Wales registered T-Reg Lotus Eclat. T-Reg, so that's what, 1978 or 79? Also at the NEC, one of several Sunbeam Talbot Lotuses to feature in this collection. Over at the Pageant of Power, and alongside Daddy O, we've got one JVX, which is a 1957 Lotus 11 Series 2 Le Mans, powered by the Coventry Climax engine. Capesthorne Hall, classic car show is next, and alongside the red E type, we've got M380 UME, which is a Lotus Esprit Turbo S4. Chumley once again. And the tyre warming area, SPX 315, that's a 1955 Lotus 6, powered by the 1172 Ford side valve engine. Very bonny pair of Lotuses, there's the Elan again at the top, which kicked off this particular collection. And in the foreground, we've got a G registration, Lotus Elan Plus 2. An unusual choice for rallying of fairly early Lotus Esprit S1. There's a real bright green oddball. This is a 1975 Lotus GS Europa twin cam. It was a prototype designed by William Towns based on a 1972 twin cam Europa. Which do you prefer, the factory car or that? Over to Silverstone in the preview day for the Silverstone Classic, and we've got a fairly early Lotus Cortina Mark I here. Interesting little car now, 895EME, that's a 1955 Lotus 6. A pair of SU carburetors there sticking out through the bonnet, all very purposeful. In all, there are 100 photographs in this collection of classic Lotuses, or low tie. Next, LJH702 is a very historic car. This is the Lotus II um, from November 1949. And again, that has the 1172cc Ford side valve engine. Looks like it's built with trialing in mind. Here's another Sunbeam Talbot Lotus. Very popular with rallying back in the day and today. In fact, historic rallying, usually one or two of these turn up. Another pair here, another Sunbeam Talbot Lotus and a Europa in the foreground. Very 1970s orange colour there. 
if you're a Lotus fan, please pop a note and say hello in the comments as always. Always like feedback on these types of videos. Next up, 2FYY. That's a Lotus Esprit Turbo registered in February of 1983. There's Chumley House in the background. Another very smart little Lotus Elan here. I do like those centre knock-on wheels. This is a convertible version. Various other Lotus dotted around in the background too. Any favourites there? Any preferences? We're at three quarter view now of a JPS Lotus Europa LHO 18L. That's a 1972 car. Continuing with these Lotuses, first of two photos of a very unusual looking Lotus Elan Plus 2 shooting brake. Uh, like I say, there are two photos of this particular car, registration RAM20M. I believe this was a fairly recent conversion, it's not a period conversion as far as I know, but if you've got any more details, again, please let me know in the comments. The little sporty number, LCL171A, that is a 1963 Lotus Type 23 sports car. Another Sunbeam Talbot Lotus here in the uh, typical silver and black colour scheme, early 1980s. Another gaggle of Lotuses here, a uh, very smart plus two in the middle there that suddenly popped open. If you recognise your car in any of these photographs again, please say hello. Another assortment here, a couple of Elans, there's a Lotus 7S4, the orange car, the Mark 1 Lotus Cortina, and an Elite, and various other Lotuses going off into the distance. OPW 678X, that's an Esprit Turbo, that one's from March of 1982, and this was at this year's NEC Classic Car Show. This was at Tatton Park Classic Car Show in the mid-2000s, RVF 400R. This is a Lotus Elite, one of the wedge-shaped Elites from December 1976. Automatic, even. Heavens. Here, a lovely little Lotus Elan Sprint. This one dates to late 72 or early 1973. whole lineup of classic Lotus cars here. This was at the Pageant of Power several years ago. So, well, there's that plus two again, and the White Land, the Lotus 7, a couple of others a bit further away. Back to the NEC, the big classic car show held there every year, and we've got a fantastic Lotus Carlton. I was really hoping to get one of these included in the collection, and here we did have one. To the pageant of power, we've got a 67 Lotus Elan fixed head coupe here, about to have a go around the course. Another slice of 70s Lotus here, FBC 199T, another Esprit with world champion down the side. Very bright red Lotus Elan Plus 2. Lovely looking little cars. I think I prefer those to the standard Elan. Or is that just me? And down again to the preview of a Silverstone Classic a few years ago. We've got a standard Lotus Elan up in the air, receiving a little bit of TLC. Carrying on with these classic Lotuses, we've got another trio here with a JPS Europa in the foreground, a Lotus 7 and an Elan being pushed. Next up, 828DMB. This, I think, is a replica of a Plus 2 prototype. Uh, again, if you can shed a bit more light on that, I'd welcome it. There didn't seem to be too much information around online. 6677UR. This is an interesting little car, Lotus Elan BRM, uh, dated October 1967. Clearly breathed upon by the BRM racing team. 
another Mark 1 for the Lotus Cortina here, uh, down at Silverstone. Another couple of Sunbeam Talbot Lotuses, the one in the foreground, that was driven by Henry Toivonen. Race Retro a few years back, this intriguing little survivor. This is a Lotus 6 Trials car, registration HEL46. This one dates to 1953. Much modified engine there, just peering out from the engine bay. Here we've got an L registration two tone Lotus Elan convertible. This was at the Chumley Classic Car Show as opposed to the Pageant of Power. Back to Silverstone, a fantastic little Elite, TBF 204, great little car. Another one of Colin Chapman's finest, an R registration early Esprit S1. Fetching shade of blue, we've got an Elan Plus 2 here on period looking mini light style wheels with an Esprit Turbo alongside. This was at Western Park Classic Car Show, I think. And then the same very nice shade of blue, we've got this H registration Lotus Elan fixed head, uh, dated to late 69, early 1970. Down at the NEC again on one of the Lotus Club stands. We've got a fairly early Europa here. And this was at one of the restoration shows at the NEC in either 2017 or 2018. This plus two Elan. Looks like it needs a little TLC. Perhaps it's even been restored by now. Again, if you can update me, um, very much welcome that. A head-on view of a restored Lotus Europa TBF 606J from late 1970 or early 1971. Very smart little Elan here, soft top version, wider wheels, slightly wider arches, looking quite purposeful. Some very nice subtle modifications going on there. And to Capesthorne Hall Classic Car Show in 2021. We've got this E registration 1987 Lotus XL. The Lotus Cortina Mark 1 here, this particular Lotus from 1966. Looking slightly derelict is this body shell of a Lotus Elan Plus 2. This used to be outside a scrapyard not many miles from here, long since disappeared, but was it saved or was it cut up? This was at the Smallwood Vintage Rally in about 2005 I think. This is a Cortina Lotus Mark 2 from 1969 or 1970. We're a three-quarter view now of Y828 FNH. That's a 2001 Esprit GT with the V8 engine sat in the back. Still plenty of classic Lotuses to go. Here at Alton Park, we've got a what appears to be a mod sports era Lotus Elan just heading out to the track. And also at Alton is UCH830. This is a Lotus Elite from September of 1960, prepared for racing. I had a ride around Silverstone in a car very similar to that, but it was a little, little gem. DSV251, that's a 1960 Lotus 7 with the 948cc BMC A Series engine under its bonnet. An Essex sponsored Lotus Esprit Turbo is next, one ESX. This car dates to 1981. Essex was a sponsor of the Team Lotus race team from 1979 to 81. 
El Reg uh, Lotus Elan here. So this one, what's that? About 1972 or early 1973. Another Cortina Lotus Mark II, this one from 1967. In the colours of Allen Man Racing Limited of Byfleet in England. MGB V8 behind it. Still a few more classic Lotuses to go. We've got 7528YL here. This is an Elite from June of 1963. There's a soft topped line alongside it. And this, I think, was at Race Retro a little while back, VAA686H. That's another Lotus Europa on some very wide wheels. In 1965, Lotus Cortina Mark 1 is next. Back to Cape Thorn Hall, a classic car show there in 2021, and we've got one of the M100 series Lotus Elans of the 1990s. Another Elite here, very smart silver example, the Coventry Climax engine there on display, chrome wire wheels. Another Sunbeam Tolbert Lotus, this one's silver and red, usually silver and black. Back to Wedginess, NEC KUW772X, that's a Lotus Elite. This particular car was registered in late 81 or early 1982. If you've got a favourite Lotus, please let me know in the comments. Maybe it's this one, this very smart, race-prepared Lotus Elan. Note the, uh, the lack of the pop-up headlamps. SAD843 is another Lotus Elan. Uh, what am I talking about? Lotus 11 sports racer. The LAN Plus 2 here appears to have been prepared for circuit racing. Another Lotus XL, a bright silver car this time at Cape Storm. Uh, note the wheels, their ex Toyota Supra, a number of Toyota parts featured on the XLs of this era. pair of classic Lotuses here at Alton Park with a Lotus Cortina alongside. We've got the LAN soft top in the foreground and a fixed head alongside it. And that photo is followed by a closer look at the pale blue LAN SE convertible in the previous photograph. This was at Cape Stone Hall on a very sunny day earlier this year. And this is a better photograph of the yellow fixed head. This was also at this year at a local breakfast meet where all sorts of classic cars turned up. Down to Race Retro again a few years ago and someone had this Lotus Cortina Mark I for sale. Alton Park, we've got Lotus Elan Sprint here up in the air, ANK336G from 1968. The rear three quarter view of a Lotus Eclat 2.2, this one from 1978. This was at the Tatton Park Classic Car Show many years ago in the mid 2000s, and a gaggle of other Lotuses in the background, or low tie. Up, up in the air, another Mark One Lotus Cortina. And over at Tatton Park again, I think, quite a few years ago, another Sunbeam Talbot Lotus, this one in blue and silver. Back to the NEC, and we've got this bright red. Uh, Esprit S4, yours for a smidge under 36,000.
Next up, SCA384H. That's a 1969 Lotus Elan Sprint convertible. That's a North Wales registration, CA. And now down to the Haynes Motor Museum, and we've got four old Lotuses here. We've got an Elise, a Europa, an Elan, and an Elite in the background. Another look at these cars, a better look at that J registration Lotus Europa and the S Reg Lotus Elite alongside it. Carrying on with these classics, we've got another Lotus Cortina Mark 1 here. This is a pre airflow car, an unusual colour scheme on Mini Light style replica wheels. Another local classic car show, and we've got this really nice mid blue metallic turbo Lotus Esprit. Next up, we have a Lotus Elan Plus 2 in maroon. Back down to the Haynes Motor Museum again, and we've got this ex-competition Lotus Elite. And to Alton Park, I think this was probably at Carfest, we've got CAM 687L from 1972, a Lotus Elan Plus 2 convertible, with an Elise alongside it. WVS 299, that's another Lotus 11 sports racer. UHR 885, that's a Lotus 7, seen here competing at the Prescott Hill Climb. To Capesthorne Hall, E262 NRE, that's a 1988 Lotus Esprit Turbo. Just a few more to go now. Another Sunbeam Talbot Lotus here. This was at, I think, Race Retro or so. No, it was the NEC. That was the NEC this year, actually, in 2021. Ex Stig Blomfist, no less. Next up, to the Smallwood Vintage Rally in 2005, and we saw this Lotus Europa in the Gold, te uh, gold Leaf Team Lotus colours. Down at the NEC was this 1987 Lotus XL, bright red example. To finish off, we've got a Lotus Cortina doing what it was designed for, here being given some stick at Alton Park at one of the Gold Cup meetings. And that finishes off this collection of classic Lotus cars photographs. I hope that was of interest, please check out some of the other videos that are on the channel because there's quite a lot on there now, and there'll be more videos along very very soon. Bye for now.